Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch Villain Saga season 2 episode 8. I just watched episode 7. If you want to see my reaction video about it, I'm gonna put the link into the eye. I'm gonna put the link also for the playlist that I made for Vinland Saga in case you want to watch all of my reaction videos about all of Vinland Saga with each reaction video, you know, into the chronological order. In case you can be interested, you have these links into the eye. I just watched episode 7 and like I told you, I was not sure about watching one more episode today but in fact the last episode surprised me because of how slow it was maybe a little. Really the fact that we spent an entire episode to discover more about Ketil's family to meet his new son, I mean his son who was far away on the battlefield and all and who came back home and we discovered really his personality and clearly I'm not a fan of him. If I have to choose, you know, between these two sons, in fact, I'm going to choose Alma, who is, yes, a coward, someone useless, someone who can be really annoying, but clearly Targil is so arrogant. He has such an attitude also with how he's talking to his own brother and he tried to humiliate him. I was talking also about the battlefield and selling women like that, you know, using them. I was with the slaves, with everyone, like he can be really violent and appreciate that, we can feel it. His own father is afraid of him, so clearly, yes, I think that I would prefer Alma at the end of things. And we had more also about Ketir himself and the fact that it's not like it seems to in the sense that everyone heard about that legend, the Iron Fist, someone who is really strong and who was really violent during the fights and in fact it seems to be a fake one, a fake legend. So maybe at some point we're going to discover more about that but at the same time it would mean that Torgir himself is going to learn about it and I'm pretty sure that all of the respect that he has now for his father is going to disappear totally and maybe someone violent and arrogant like him is going to want to take the place of his father or something like that. Like it could be really, really bad. We'll see. We discovered more about Ketia also with how nice he can be. He didn't want to hurt these kids. He wanted to find a solution to a compromise to not have to hurt them and all and he found one but still he had to beat them up himself and really he felt really bad about it and after that he was talking about it with Arnate, with the slave girl and we understood during that moment that she's really the one to whom he's talking about everything and she was there to reassure him and all meaning that maybe he's never gonna let her go because he needs her that much maybe he's in fact also in love with her and no matter what because she knows all of his secrets so clearly she's not gonna be let alone you know like that i mean clearly i don't think that he's gonna want to release her and we saw that Aina thinking about maybe one day being free gaining his freedom thought about okay and what about Arnate, what can we do for her to be free I don't think that there is a particular deal to make her free we'll see about it but yes I want now to watch a new episode because I want more actions you know I want to to see really stuff happening to our characters I want for Torfin to reveal how we became a slave, or I want for Knut and Torfin, new Knut, new Torfin to meet again, or I want for something to happen, so our guys they're gonna try really to get free now, like I don't know, something new, something big. I hope that I'm gonna have that during this episode. 
Like I told you this morning, I worked again on my schedule and I decided that what I planned at first because of Demon Slayer being back soon to give you on, only one episode of Inland Saga each week with two episodes of My Hero Academia, with one episode of Demon Slayer, with one episode of Twin Peaks, like still five videos, five reaction videos each week. I thought again about it and I want it for you guys who are watching me for Vinland Saga to still be satisfied, you know, by having two reaction videos for Vinland Saga still each week. So it's gonna demand me more work, but I wanted to, to do that for you and I decided that this morning. So that's why, you know, seeing that and deciding that I was like, okay, maybe in fact I'm gonna watch just one episode today. So, you know, tomorrow is gonna be a new day and really uh, a new energy to, to work and maybe I'm gonna begin more everything tomorrow and to be slower today. And in fact, no. In fact, I decided to watch one more episode because I want to be into that energy when I'm gonna come back, you know, for watching, editing, posting, planning, uh, working on these videos. I want to be with that energy de l'un, so what I mean? So give me that, Villain Saga, give me really big action moments and all. And at the same time, by seeing that during the intro, I have the impression that I can jinx myself, you know, maybe in fact something really, really bad is going to happen during this episode and I'm not prepared for it. Like maybe Arnett is going to be killed or maybe, uh, yes, we're going to have Knut and Tolfin meeting again, but that's going to turn bad. Uh, maybe we're gonna finally going to have news about Tolfin's family and we're going to learn in fact that the mother died. During all of this time, Tolfin, that you didn't come back home. That's really something which can happen and that I'm really afraid of. For Tolfin, you know, that maybe he's never gonna see his mother again. And that, you know, if it would happen, like, you would have a good reason to feel guilty, Tolfin. If it's truly happening. I mean, if it would truly happen. We'll see. And I'm gonna see that right now, let's go for this episode. Remember that if you want, you have my Patreon, on which you can have 4 episodes of advance, meaning 2 weeks of advance, with full opacity for the reaction part, with longer reaction parts, even for big episodes, the full reaction part, in fact. So if you want all of these advantages, it's on my Patreon. It's advantages that I'm working on really hard for you to thank you to be there to support me on my Patreon if you want and if you can, it can be appreciated even if it's just for one month, it can be truly useful. Let's go for this episode! Oh, and I'm not saying it a lot, but also if you're subscribing to my Patreon for the entire year, you know, at once, you have one less month to subscribe to, you know what I mean? Like, it's offered to you, if you can be interested. Let's go for this episode! Eh? Hey? Still one of your nightmares, or? Okay. Okay, you're still fighting with this guilt with. Somebody, you have to climb right there, you step into that hole. Who is forcing you to fall? You can never escape. Oh wow, Torfin! Still dealing with that guilt, and it's Worst. Oh, it's so usual. No, 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 not just that. You were trying to climb it. People are taking you back in. He was screaming for his father and for us, glad. Like, 
But really, you're missing something. Maybe you would understand yourself a little more. Don't destroy it, please. Not just that, someone who taught you a lot also, someone that you followed, worked for and respected sometimes. Tell me about it. You didn't make peace with yourself about as clash, but also about all of what you had to do to accomplish your revenge, and in fact you didn't have it, and still you did all of that. About your dad, what your dad told you maybe? What the true warrior is? You're wise, I know. He wanted to protect you and to help you. Yes? Can you see? Am I not repeating that since the beginning of the season? Without his hate, without his desire of revenge, he's empty, he has nothing. He doesn't know what to do with his life. I understand that. He's not also who he was as a little kid. How can he come back home? He's teaching you how to fish? <laughs> You're trying to help them, to teach them stuff also. He's giving you really good advice. You can be whoever you want now, Dolphin. You know what I think. I believe in second chance. I think he was punished enough, he's really sorry, he has true regrets. If you want to change, you can change, don't you? But... What? This fucking assassin. What do you think? They made sure that it was lost. You can't attack them yourself. I'm never gonna let you
No, they are not. Not real ones like you. If you, we have true warriors and fake warriors, we have also true farmers and fake farmers. This musical scene. Comparing the situation? Oh, this musical theme is always gonna get me. It's the right thing to know. It's not going to confess it. that you did it so Ena wouldn't do it himself but no you did it because you couldn't control your nerves neither is anger you know previous episode was really slow and it surprised me that we would have an entire episode which was about discovering more about Kittil's family. I can't say that this episode was not slow, you know, because if you're thinking about it for the actions, for really the facts, what happened during this episode, it was what? Torfin and Anna talking together a lot, their farm being destroyed by the returners and at the end this fight between all of them but that's all and you can't say that it was big moments of action that something really big happened and all for the entire story you know i'm thinking about looking at the entire story about what happened during the first season for example so i can judge that episode as a slow one but clearly right there in fact we spent all of our time with our two guys, our two main characters and I'm not gonna judge it like I judged the other one because this one was really to go further, deeper with the characters it was really a character episode and you know how much I appreciate this one and right there to have all of that about Tolfin oh that's it, he's finally changing and growing up I love that so much and even if at the end I'm a little desperate because I have this impression that he didn't understand yet the thing, you know. He, ah, he doesn't have it yet. 
and all no matter what I can see all of the changes like I'm telling you since episode 4 of the season 1 something like that that emotionally he still a kid, he never evolved, he was blinded by this rage against Asclad, this desire of, of revenge and to have told Finn saying it out loud during this episode to Reynor oh, it felt like a, re a reward really and just after that him saying how empty he feels because of that because he didn't have his revenge and he has nothing else to do because he did nothing else into his life so he doesn't know what he should do again a reward because it has been entire episodes that I'm telling you that except for this desire of revenge for Asclad he never did anything else than being a fighter and having that desire meaning that he never imagined another future for himself what he could do, who he could become and not having that revenge you know as an objective anymore he didn't know what to do and for sure he couldn't do anything because all of his life he was a fighter so again I had the impression that this episode confirmed everything that I said about Tolfin and it felt so great but at the same time a lot of things during this episode are telling me that he's in fact changing now first thing the fact that he realized all of that the fact that He's talking about it with Anna, meaning that not only he's thought about it, but he's also humble enough and aware enough of the situation, an adult enough also to understand his own feelings and to say them out loud. So to ask for help, you know, in a way to say to someone that you don't understand how you're functioning yourself and you're a little lost. You have to be really brave to do something like that and you have to be an adult like kids they can't do that you have to be emotionally evolved to do something like that to admit that you have weaknesses and all of what you understood about yourself it means that you worked on yourself so it's already the fact that he realized all of that it's already a proof that he's changing second thing which is also really symbolic it's the beginning of this episode with this nightmare. Before that, in all of his nightmares, Tolfin was the main character and he was picturing himself as a kid and that's why I was saying emotionally he's still a kid, he never evolved. Now it's different. He's picturing himself as an adult, as who he is right now and he's seeing himself, another self, doing all of that. Meaning that He's still working on that guilt, he's still working on, yes, that pain, that guilt about everything that he did, about all of the people that he killed, that woman, and also all of his past, all of what he had to do, who are still blocking him, taking him into that all that he can't escape from, even if he's trying. So he's still dealing with his past, with everything that he did, with everyone that he killed. He's still dealing with that, but now he's picturing himself as who he is right now, as an adult. And he can see the difference between who he is right now and that kid who was forced to kill all of these people. And now as himself, he doesn't want to fight anymore, he wants to stop that kid. Do you understand? Like it's so symbolic, really, the fact that now into his dreams, is truly himself seeing another self, a younger one, killing these other persons and he wants to stop that version of himself. So fucking symbolic and it shows a lot that he's changing. But still, he has that desire of changing. He is beginning to change but he's not there yet because we can see it at the end of this episode He's still falling into that cliff, that big hole, you know. He's still giving up and he doesn't remember something. For me, it's what Thor's told him about what a true warrior is. He made a little peace, you know, with Asglad and with the fact that he hated Asglad but he doesn't hate him anymore. He can remember that Asglad was not entirely bad with him that maybe he taught him stuff and that at the end he wanted to protect him and he taught him to become a true warrior so he was not entirely a bad person but I'm pretty sure that he hates 
that he likes Asclad a little, at least the memory of Asclad that he has. Tolfin is evolving, Tolfin wants to change, Tolfin is saying out loud that he wants to change. And like I said during this episode, you know what I think about that. If you want to change, you can. It's gonna take you time and you have to really want it and you have to really show it with actions and all, but you can do it. And Tolfin has regrets about who he was before and Tolfin apologized for it also at multiple occasions in a way to Aina and Tolfin I think was enough punished for who he was before and what he did before so clearly for me Tolfin if you want to change you can right now but again it's gonna take a lot of actions and time and that's why at the end he's not succeeding but it's cool it's really cool all of that story you know about the returners who are destroying their farm that was awful for Aina to react like that, it's not a surprise because I'm seeing it since a long time. Aina is maybe not the most clever guy, but he's the nicest one. He's impulsive. In fact, you know, he's thinking with his heart. And right there, to see that they attacked all of his wheat like that, they destroyed everything, they had no consideration for the work of a real farmer, it made him so mad because really he was thinking with his heart you can't do that if you're a true farmer if you like this job you can't do that to another farmer <laughs> so I love him for, for that reaction that impulsive move at the end when they are facing the returners and Aina wants to you know to beat one like that and in fact at the end it's Tolfin who is beating that one who is breaking his jaw Really, at first I was like, who? Maybe Tolfin did that, so Aina is not gonna do it and be punished for it. But after that, seeing his face, I was like, ah no. In fact, because really, he felt the same. <laughs> Tolfin felt the same rage and all. I think that Tolfin is now a real farmer and understood Aina's rage and felt the same rage. How can you tell us that we are not real farmers just because we are slaves and you are insulting us like that? Like, he, he felt some pride, you know, of his job, of what they did, and that's why he felt so angry at these retainers, judging them and all. It felt great. And for Tolfin rules, according to his own rules, you were not empty during that moment. You felt anger again. If it's really anger, which is your way to go, right there, you were not empty. I appreciated also these moments with them learning how to fish and all. All of your life, you can continue to learn dolphin. And I'm totally okay with what was said about if you want to rebound to be someone new, it's even better to feel empty. It means that you can really begin from zero again. It was, yes, so, so great for Tolfin to hear all of that. And right now, and we can see that it's really growing on him. And oh, I appreciate that so much. <laughs> Tolfin is finally changing. Tolfin is not emotionally a kid anymore. Dolphin is picturing himself as himself truly, the true self, uh, the adult self into his dreams and he is trying to, to stop his younger self. <sighs> it has been one season and uh, eight episodes that uh, I wanted that. <laughs> I have the impression to, to be rewarded, you know, like family. It's happening! Oh, it feels so great! So yes, it was a slow episode and yes, if we are judging with the facts, nothing really big happened during this episode and all, but for the character, something really big happened during this episode. It's cool! I'm glad that I watched this episode today. Okay, it's all for you and for me for this reaction video, so it's all for me for now, so bye for now, bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great.